hey guys, this is your girl Shani and welcome back to Deck the Style Haul. These are 31 tutorials in 31 days, so I'm giving you guys a makeup look and a fashion look all in the same video. Today is all about being real dark and I decided to do a brown smoky eye with a pop of green on my lower lash line and this beautiful plum lip. I felt like I just wanted to bring out this vampy color because normally I wear this all fall long but I want to do more variations of colors on my lips and I felt like this was the need in time to bring out this purple and I think it goes great with the green. So this is going to be the look for today and I hope you guys like it. Again, make sure you like, make sure you also subscribe if you haven't been a subscriber to my channel yet. Make sure you share this video as much as you can, tag your favorite YouTubers, whatever, just to get people to see these videos because I'm doing these videos for the sense of just making sure people know that I love to do makeup and hair and this is not no stunt, like I'm actually really doing this. <laughs> and um, enjoy the video, okay? And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys. I actually got it right this time. <laughs> So okay guys, of course we're going to start off our video with our cleansed face, primed, concealed, and foundation applied with our eyebrows done. So of course we're going to set our eye concealer with the shadow of your skin tone. And then of course we're going to put the transitional color and of course my transitional color is my CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer. So again today is all about a nice brown smoky eye. A lot of girls think that smoky eyes are only supposed to be black and really 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 dark colors but no it can actually be a subtle color like a brown like a purple even like a, a nice little navy blue but it's all about figuring out what works for you and I decided to make this a brown smoky eye but with a pop of green on my waterline. So with this being a beginner friendly makeup, I wanted to show you guys a technique that a lot of girls have used. I've used it. Um, I apply tape on the corners of my eyes and that's going to help me as a guideline to make sure my eyeliner is precise and winged out correctly. I felt like a lot of girls have this problem all the time so I might as well show you this technique because it's pretty easy and very inexpensive. So hopefully you guys can use that as a sense of helping you guys with your wing eyeliner. Now when you apply this brown, it could be any brown of your choice. Um, this brown that I'm applying to is actually from an unknown palette. I don't know where I got it from and I don't know the name of it. But any brown shadow would definitely work for this tutorial. So don't think that you have to try to figure out mine because I really don't know what it is. The only things I know is what I put in the description box that what I have. So please don't bend your back and try to figure it out because again, I don't know what it is. <laughs> So to smoky it out, I'm definitely going to be adding some black and I'm using uh, Blackout by Urban Decay and putting that right at the corner of my eyelids and of course blending it up into my transitional color and then I'm going to use my transitional color just to blend everything out. Everything, make sure it's blended. Blending, blending, blending is everything. So you want to make sure everything has a kind of a flawless look and a flawless kind of changing of color on your eye. Now I'm using my liner and using the tape as my guideline to make sure that my liner is completely precise. And trust me, there's no oops and bumps with this. It's going to make your eye look really, really nice and sharp and beautiful.
Now I'm going to be dipping in my Morphe palette and I'm going to be using this emerald green color and I decided to slow the video down here because I wanted to show you guys how I applied this color right on the lower lash line. Um, it's very, very precise and close to my waterline so I wanted to make sure that I had enough room to put my black liner down for my waterline and then apply the eyeshadow for my lower lash line. And as you can see, you can definitely see the color right there below my lash line. So of course I went ahead, contoured, highlight, and put my hair on. <laughs> and here is everything that I just did. And right now I'm going to be using my blush palette by BH Cosmetics and putting this nice pink rosy color right on my cheekbones. And then going back into my NARS in Abatross and putting that highlight right above the blush and blending it into my cheekbones. And last but not least, going into my LA Colors in my Mineral Foundation and buffing out all of my face, making sure my face is nice, beautiful, and blended. Here I'm contouring my nose just to give my nose some definition and some bone shape. I just started to contour my nose probably about a year and a half ago um, because, I don't know, I was kind of learning how to do it and I kind of got the concept of it and if you do want to understand how to contour your nose let me know just like this a video and I will definitely make a video of how you contour your nose and also your face so going into the lippy of the day I'm going to be using my LA splash in malevolence and this is a kind of a liquid lipstick as well and I love this dark plum vampy color it's such a color that a lot of girls love to wear in the fall and like I said to you before I would wear this color legitimately all fall long but I'm trying to be different <laughs> trying to be different but it's a beautiful color the only thing I will say is that you would have to put a couple of coats on your lips just to make sure you get a good color payoff thigh-high boots that we spoke about yesterday. They definitely accentuate the ladies' legs and they're so sexy and kind of grown and chic. And I'm pairing them today with this beautiful emerald green skater skirt dress. I think a skater skirt dress is so cute and kind of doll-like and still sexy at the same time. And then I also decided to pair it up with my biker leather jacket. And this is actually going to be the style piece of today. jacket is something that I normally never used to have in my closet I just started to realize that it is becoming a big trend and I decided to jump on it I think the biker jacket sets off any outfit and it can go with anything like anything and so I decided to pair it up with these thigh high boots and kind of give me this kind of rocker chic but more of a sexy rocker chic if that makes sense but I like this jacket and it's so fitting for this outfit
guys again for all for watching and tuning into this video and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.